Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you some shortcut for basic arithmetic operations. So let's create a variable and let's call it house number and we assign 15. And let's say we want to update this house number. We want to add 3 to it, for example. We take the value, we do plus 3 and then the result we store in house number again. So we have to write house number on the left side and on the right side. And there's a shortcut in C++ for it, where we can just write house number plus equal 3. So plus equal means the exact same what I have before. These are equivalent. We can either write it like this or we can write it like this. A lot of times in the code you will see plus equal. Um, so it's it's one thing I want to point out, it's not equal plus 3. That is something different. This is just an assignment to a positive 3. So the operator is on the left side of the assignment. And this works really for anything, um, for all the other operators. So we can do house number minus 5, for example. Then we would do house number minus equal 5. Or let's say we have another variable, let's call it just number. We can also do house number equals house number divide by number. Whenever we have a variable on the left side and we have the same variable as the first operand on the right side, we can use this shortcut. So in this case, the house numbers on both sides. So we write house number. The operator is divide, so we write divide, then comes our assignment, and then the second operand, which is number. In this case, it's a variable. And, of course, we can do this also with, um, with multiplication. And we can do it with a mod operator. So this works for all the basic arithmetic operators. The one that is even more common is the increment and decrement operators. So sometimes you will see, let's say I want to go house number by house number, each one step. I would write house number plus one and assign the result to house number. Now, if we use the shortcut up here, we would write house number plus equal one. And this can even be abbreviated with plus plus. So house number plus plus means we add one to it and we store the result in this variable. This one works for plus plus and it works for minus minus. So we can do it, we can subtract uh, from, from the variable as well. We, there's another way that looks very similar, which is the prefix. So we do it as prefix notation plus plus house number. In itself, there's really no difference. It just adds one and stores it in a variable. But if we use it as part of another assignment, then there's a critical difference. Let's say we have a C out statement here. And we output the house number and we do plus plus. And let me actually assign a value here. Let's say I, I have five right before. Let's see what we what output we get when we run this program. So we get five. But wait a minute, didn't we update a value and store it in the result? So yes, we did. If I output it again right after, we will see this one is actually will be six. So we have five and six. So this worked, but it read the value first and then it did the increment operation. So it read the value, output it, then it performed plus plus. So it added one, six, and stored it in house number. And the next time I read it, I have my six stored in it, the incremented number. Now, if we do it the other way around, if we do plus plus before, we perform the increment operation before. So we do plus plus, 
we get six, we store it in the variable, and then we read the variable value and output it. So this will give me six, six. And it's the same for minus minus. So if I go back here and I do minus minus, this will output five first and then four because it reads the value, which is five, outputs it, then it decrements it by one, stores it in it, which is four, and the next time we output it, it will show the, the current value in it, which is four. Now if I do it minus minus before, this will decrement the value first to four, assign it, read the value and output it, so we'll get four, and then we didn't update it second time, we'll also get four. I hope that clarifies some things and gives you some ideas how you can shortcut some of your code. So thank you for watching.